Hello guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to uh, add, make a home page, uh, well not make a home page, but set a home page for uh, your web browser here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings app. Um, if you did not watch the tutorial which me, with me creating this, um, it's very simple to do, um, but I'll have an annotation showing you this. It was actually combined with the search here, so that's why we created it. So we're going to go in here and we're going to just pull this down by clicking on that. We're just going to pull it down here. Okay, a little bit. We're going to add another group box here. And let's go ahead and let's add another group box right on top of that. You know, again, like I said in other videos, this is completely however you want to do it. You can do it any which way you want. Um, but this is the way I'm going to set it up. So, we're going to change the text of this from group box, or group, yeah, group box 2 to, uh, I'm just going to say, home page. Okay. And then we're just going to add a text box into here. There we are. Just going to add a text box right in here. We're just going to drag that along. Now we're going to go up here to project. Uh, and then go to your properties. Find settings. As soon as this loads up here and click on that, we're going to add something new called, um, we're just going to name it home page. Why not? And we're going to change it from string to a UR, a web service URL. We need to change that. And then you basically, you just basically make it any website that you want here. This is going to be the home page from the beginning. And just to keep things simple, I'm just going to do HTTP colon slash slash www.google.com. Uh, if you have your own website, maybe for this web browser, uh, you can put that in there. Um, anything you could set this to any page you want for the home page so we're going to go back to the settings here and we're going to double click and go to the load events so you're just going to double click on the title bar there and under the load events um, let's go here we're going to go and put it we're going to go and just add it below this so under this last indef we're just going to hit enter I usually hit enter twice and we're going to say text box one dot text uh, equals my dot settings dot home page. Okay, so it's going to set the text of that to the home page. Now, if we just go and play this real quick, you're going to see as soon as it opens up, it's not going to go to that home page yet. We're going to program that here in a minute. Um, but I just want to show you that uh, when you go to tools and settings, as you can see, it pulls it up right there for you. So that's really nice. So we're going to go ahead and go back here. We're going to go to the tab page now the one with the web browser component on it. And we're going to go to the load events of that. So you can just find a blank area on here and just double click. And here's the load events. You're going to say uh, AX web browser one dot navigate. And then in parentheses, you're going to say my dot settings dot home page. And in parentheses. Now if we go and play that, you can see it takes you directly to Google so um, this will allow um, actually there I did not program to let them change it but um, let's go and let's go back to the settings because that is something I forgot here because of course we want to allow them to change this um, you can of course disable this you know disable the text box or not even put any code here um, if you don't want it to be changed but if you do you're just going to say um, you're going to go to you're going to double click on the text box and make sure you're under the text change this is probably going to be the main option anyways this is basically going to detect if the text is changed then it's going to do this my dot settings dot um, home page equals text box one dot text so basically this will change it if that is changed so if we go ahead and let's just go to settings and let's just take out Google and let's add YouTube Seem to be getting a lot of uh, use here. We're just going to do that. If we go File, New Tab, as you can see, instead of taking us to Google, it now takes us to YouTube. So, you know, this can be changed to any website you want. You don't have to set the main first time as, uh, as uh, Google. You can, you know, set whatever you want. One thing here before I forget, um, you can go ahead and add a home button here to your. Uh, tab page just go to tab and we're going to add you can add do like a picture box if you want to I'm just going to do a button 
and I'm just going to put each in that and that's just basically going to symbolize home and then you're just going to double click and uh, AX web browser one dot navigate and then you're going to say my dot settings dot home page and in parentheses so that way when you load it up and you click that it's going to take you to your home page automatically so if we went to uh, google.com okay and we hit home it's going to go ahead and take you to your home page so so it's just a quick tutorial don't forget to give me a thumbs up if this helped you and have a good day